Hello Leo, it's Milady from Milady's Weights here and I'm coming to do your weekly, bi-weekly reading for the weeks of um, 9, 4 through 9, 18, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me and commenting. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Okay? Other than that, let's get this show on the road, Leo. What's going on for the Leo? Okay, somebody is, uh, feels like you're overstepping your boundaries, but it's a general read and it can go overweight. Either way, either you're overstepping your boundaries or somebody's doing this to you or just doing stuff purposely that they know you hate, okay? Or the other way around. All right, what's going on for the Leo, Leo, Leo? What's going on for the Leo for the week of, weeks of 9, 4 through 9, 18, 2017? Leo, love, reading 9, 4 through 9, 18, 2017, love, reading Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, Leo. What you been doing? I feel like I wanted to cut the cards again. So somebody is making some kind of wise decisions lately, Leo. Mm. Okay, so somebody may be um, making wise decisions about a relationship that they really care about or... I'm here to be in a relationship that they care about. So it's just some kind of wise decisions about a relationship. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so it seems like somebody, <laughs> okay. I mean, this is easier than it's coming out. But I mean, I got all these words shooting at me right now. But it's like somebody making a wise decision to be with somebody who is catering to them, okay? I guess a good idea to be with this person because they taking care of me. They giving me what they want. They treating me like they really love me. Okay, so you got some kind of visions. It seems like you might you might think this person is going to do this or you know this person is going to do this. What are these visions about for the Leo? Visions, visions. What are these visions about for the Leo? Okay, yeah, um, you knew you was going to fall for this person. You knew you was going to let your heart open to this person. It's like you just saw that this person was going to be there to take care of you and be there for you. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, it seems like somebody is lying. Mm-hmm. All right, so I don't know if this is you or the person you're dealing with. I'm thinking the person that you're dealing with is is lying to you. It seems like this person is doing some stuff for you, and he's really caring about you, or she is. And it seems like you knew that this person was going to be a good person, but this person is a liar. All right, what is this? Ooh. All right, so whatever this is, is keeping you up at night, you know. Whew. I mean, I feel like for some of you, this lion is just like, just some re-trigger old, old energies from uh, old relationships. But I feel like the keeping you up at night is like the good and the bad, you know? Like, what should I do? The contemplation is what's keeping you up at night. Oh my gosh, what is this? Whoa. So I feel like these are all feelings of yours. Like, what if this person is lying? What is uh, if this person is is don't? What if this person don't want me? I feel like I feel like you in your head about what other people did to you, but you know this person is gonna be good to you. Mm -mm. Yeah, you gonna run this person away with this stuff. I mean, even if they are going to be there just for a little while, enjoy it while it's there. 
Shoot, I keep telling these people this. Enjoy it while it's there. <laughs> Think about the bad stuff. I know it's easier said than done. All right, what is this transparency about? What is this transparency about for the Leo, Leo, Leo? All right, so it seems like this person might want you to make a sacrifice or you want this person to might uh, to make a sacrifice and somebody's just being dishonest about it. I feel like somebody is like, oh no, you don't need to uh, throw that away or oh, you don't need to uh, move out of here or you don't need to do that. But in reality, they really want you to do that or you really want them to do that. But somebody just don't want to boss somebody around. I'm feeling like here. Not going to know his boundaries being broken. Alright, so it seems like somebody. Uh -uh. Alright, it seems like you got your hopes up. you letting your heart out to this person. It seems like they're a fairly good person. But it seems like they got some sneaky stuff up their sleeve. Uh. Alright, so we got a flyer. I'm going to put it sideways because I don't know which way it was. All right, so it seems like for some of you stuff, this little crazy stuff going to come out right away. And for others of you, it's probably going to take a couple of weeks. So I'm feeling like at least nine days, but before uh, more than nine, less than two. Nine to two. All right. All right, and we want to know what this sacrifice, what is all this crazy, what's going to happen real fast. Mm. Oh, I don't want to say this, but this person might have a whole nother family. This person might have like a whole nother life. That's what this is looking like. This person is taking care of you and loving you and stuff, but either you're going to find out this person has a whole nother life or this person might try to Like, get you pregnant or get pregnant by you. Something like that. I mean, but it seems like that m might be what you want, but it, it seems like a deceitful thing here. It don't seem like it's like a good thing. All right, so here is like, uh, you feel like this person is bringing you to the light. Like this person is helping you get to where you need to go. Okay. Ooh. All right, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. What's going on for Leo? Leo, Leo, love reading. Leo, love reading. 9, 4 through 18, 2017. What's going on with the Leo? Love reading. 9, 4 through 18, 2017. Leo, Leo, Leo. What is this card at the bottom? Mm, stalking. All right, so yeah, I'm really feeling like it might be uh, somebody is trying to secretly get somebody pregnant, which which isn't a bad thing, I guess. Ooh. I don't want to say it, but or they secretly got somebody else pregnant, but they may not even know about this. Not yet. I feel like that might come out. All right, what's going on with the Leo, Leo, Leo? Leo, love reading. Oh, yeah. Whatever this situation is, it's going to cause a whole lot of fighting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like somebody is working hard for this relationship, but it seems like something is about to get them to stop. I get one card for that. Mm. All right, so we're going to start off with the Ace of Staffs. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it?
All right, the Ace of Staffs is reversed. It says, loss of wealth and position as a result of excessive vanity. Okay, so that that's just like maybe boasting and bragging and stuff. I know it. I don't know how that is going to make you lose anything, but I can see you losing a lot of friends because of that. Okay. All right, so the Hierophant, a, a search for meaning and truth, a time of self-discovery and morality, sometimes feeling of being overwhelmed, deeper ties to others, uh, occur conservative ideas. So this might make me feel like that you probably really care about this person, but you don't know if you're ready for kids and stuff yet, you know, and it seems like this person is probably trying to push you to do that. You know, you're trying to take things slow. And it seems like they just full speed ahead. All right. Eight of coins. Eight of coins. All right, it's upright. It says, you may find yourself learning a new trade in which you will find economic stability. Seek opportunities which specialize in knowledge and learning. So it's basically saying... This makes me feel like you're going to end up getting a new job or, or uh, I don't know, just like all this together, meaning you might be about to get a new job or maybe you're getting fired from a, a old job or something. But it seems like, I don't know, due to whatever this situation is, you're going to have to find a new job and you need one that's less physical, okay? so Because right here, this is my fight card to me. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but you're going to be doing less physical stuff. I don't know why I just automatically seen it in reverse in my head. I don't know why. I don't. All right, so we got the seven of staffs. It says, keep your strength and beliefs even though others challenge you. You are right. Even though you may be outnumbered, you will win. Whoa. Okay, so this is crazy because I don't think this is a relationship at all. This m might seem like somebody might have lost their job over this relationship. So it could have been like a worker boss kind of thing. Or maybe they just got pregnant and they couldn't do the things that they could. And they end up like getting fired and trying to find a new job. But it's like, I feel like somebody is going to fight back. Like, okay, like, I'm just feeling like legally, especially with this King of Swords here, I feel like somebody might be getting ready to sue their job for uh, some kind of, I don't know, I don't know what you sue your job for if they do you wrong, but this seems like wrong. All right, so King of Swords, it says decisions, no, decisive decisions, no, decisive actions will occur quickly. Use any position of authority to act with justice. Do not let personal desires take the place of fairness. So it's like, if you know you did wrong in this situation, just walk away. But if you know they did you wrong, you know, go fight for what's yours, you know? So you got the Six of Coins. Dang, this is a crazy twist. Um, the Six of Coins are reversed. It says... A card of envy, hoarded, misdirected, anger, and lust, imbalance. So this sort of makes me feel like you had a boss or somebody in your job that you was telling like all this good stuff about what's going on, and they you might have got pregnant or whatever the situation, or you got somebody pregnant, somebody was jealous of you, and that's why you were fired. That's what this seems like to me. But you guys, let me know. That's all I have. Make sure to oop, <laughs> check your sun, money, rising signs. If you're on a personal read, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.